Okay, so now I'm going to take my pliers, just standard pliers, okay? Just buy something cheap at the hardware store. You need to start getting things for your tools. By doing these things, you don't have to have someone else do it. If you had an electrician come out here and do this, he's going to charge you a minimum uh, travel time and a, a service charge. It's probably 75 bucks or more to just do what we're doing today on this video. Okay. I still, I know the power is off to this, but I still <laughs> try to be real careful. I don't know why, but I just do, you know. All I'm trying to do right now is straighten these out. Straighten that out. I don't, I don't really think I need pliers on this one. On this side. Okay, so see how long that wire is? Now this wire kind of, see, it comes out of this, where this wire nut is. So I got a black wire underneath it so I can pull that out straight. And see, that gave me, that gave me extra right there. That gave me just as much as that, okay? Now when you re-hook re up your white light switch, does the top one have to go to the top and bottom to the bottom? No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter for this particular application. And I know this one was broken, so I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this switch over to here. I'm taking this one over to here because at the store you could actually buy a 20 amp uh, light switch or a 15 amp light switch. Generally, they only uh, most electricians just put in 15, even if it's on a 20 amp circuit. I don't know why that is, but I don't want to have to look at all the little marks on here to to make a determination. Or not and sometimes it's not it's not even listed okay I'm looking on the side there are different things written down on there and I'm not seeing anything different see this one says this one actually has a 15 and an A on it this is a 15 amp even though it was on a 20 amp circuit for the garbage disposal and this this one doesn't doesn't really well, yeah, it says 15 amp on it too. I can I can lightly see it on the side of this. So I could put e any switch in e either location, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to flip this one over here, okay? And so now I've got I've got that I've got that out. Now I want to straighten out this this ground wire. And see, I've got a little bit more room. Pull this out, and at this point, remember I said there should be a there should be a copper wire coming out of the back of this, and I think I think there is. I'm just gonna have to do a little a little digging. I'll have to kind of pull this out a little bit and see what the deal what the deal is here. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's a wire back in here for the ground, and it had, it had a broken tab on it. So it tells me there should be something back in here. And see, here's a, here's a wire nut with two ground wires on it. And I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything. It's almost like they had something, it's almost like they had something on here, they cut it off and they thought, hey, we don't need it. Why did they do that anyways? Well, there's a, there's another copper wire back there and has a little, little coupler on it that's smashed down. So I know, I know that's there. So I'm not seeing anything. There's another copper wire that comes into here for the ground. Okay, so 
what to do about that. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Okay, I guess I, sh I guess I should do that next. All right. Here's the two ground wires, and I need to have another ground wire come out of there so that I can hook up a switch to that. I need to keep these connected, so what could I do? Well, there's a couple different options. I always got options. There's two ways to skin a cat, right? That's just a figure of speech. See, every once in a while when I do electrical, I'll save little pieces. And I could strip this sheathing down a little bit and I could cut off a long piece of this copper. And see, this was for my last job. I saved this. This is, this is a little piece. This is 14 gauge wire. This is 14-2 with ground. And that means there's a black wire in there, a white wire, and a ground copper wire that does not have sheathing over it. Kind of looks like this. This is 12 gauge. This is 12 gauge wire. This is stiffer wire. This is called 12-2 with ground. Two meaning 12 gauge, two wires, 12-2 with ground. One's white, 12 gauge, one's black. Power, neutral, copper is your ground. 12-2 with ground. That's called 12-2. This is called 14. 14-2. 14 I don't have it stripped back, but if I did, you, you'd see the wires in there. Okay, so I can use a 12 gauge. Uh, copper on 14 gauge copper if I want, but I want to have enough room to push everything back in this box. And yeah, I probably have enough room. If that's the only thing I had, I'd probably do that. And I would probably strip the wire off of this one and cut the ground wire on this one here so that it's more flexible and pliable than this. But if I only had this, I could use that too. Uh, there's, there's two different options. Here's another one. See this? Copper crimp sleeve connectors. That's what, that's, what the, that's what those look like. Right there. And this is specifically to connect copper wires together, the grounds. Because you don't have to have them in a wire over connected in a wire net. It's just this little copper deal. Okay? And so I can I can undo this wire because this wire looks almost long enough, and I think it is, almost looks long enough to have so that I can hook that up to the light switch. But first I, first I can, uh, boy that's being a little stubborn. I can pull that and see how long it is. It's not as long, but I could still, I could still, I think I could make it work. But we're still kind of deciding this. Okay, see? I could take this copper sleeve, put these together, and I have to kind of wrap them around and twist and twist, and that's going to actually make it shorter. Then I would put this crimp sleeve over, over the whole thing, crimp that down. And you need a good crimper and this is, I don't really use this as for my wire strippers. You know, you can use something like that. It comes with different things. And like I say, I don't really use this. It's, it, it, to me, it seems a little cheesy. But it, but it works. And the thing I like about it is it's got... It's got a crimper. Oh, I thought it did. Well, I could use I could use this bit here as my crimper and smash it in between these and just bear down on it. Cuz see this doesn't actually have a little thing either. Here's my wire strippers I carry in my nail bag, and some wire strippers used to have a longer thing here with a little nib that stuck in where you could use that as your crimper and smash it down. So in lieu of that, I would just crimp it in between, not the round bit, but with the little knob that sticks out and kind of pinch that in. 
and this this would actually work pretty good for that and I could I could pinch it in there I used to I generally I just use my pliers and then I kind of crimp it and then kind of smash down one edge of the crimper of the crimper sleeve you know down on the wires and I leave one wire sticking out a little bit further I still I still wind them together and then take my my wire my pliers and twist them a little bit to get it tight then put the sleeve on smash the sleeve on and then smash the side of the sleeve but it's better to crimp it to crimp it with the little nodule thing in there okay so I would have used this if I would have used the, the crimper okay but I'm thinking now if that brown wire was longer I could have done it that way right so I'm not going to use the crimping tool sorry and I'm not going to use the crimpers I'm not going to use this 12 gauge even though this is a little wire why, why not just use that and not waste all this ex all this other wire well because this one's more flexible so I'm going to just put another one on and I'm going to use it and put it underneath the same wire nut too that's the other that's the other thing I can get three I can get three wires under this round yellow wire nut okay if I use the 12 gauge it might be a little bit tighter I might have to use a red wire nut and the red wire nut is bigger a lot bigger then I have to cram it into the box okay so I'm going to take this this here and strip it and I don't normally I wouldn't normally uh, suggest stripping it on a countertop or on your finished floor or anything like that. I've got a two by four out in the garage, and I think I'll do it there because I don't want the I don't want my sheetrock knife because I'm going to use my sheetrock knife and I'm just going to score this gently. But if I if I miss, I don't want to gouge into the the countertop or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to take this outside and be safe rather than sorry.